Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little Sunday video with the weekend league sell off happening. Future Stars is going on. Possible content today with upgrade packs. Maybe we'll finally get that double 85 SBC released today as well. I just want to talk about what's going on with this market, man, and some potential buy time maybe for out of pack special cards, road to the finals that have dropped that people initially invested in, maybe this current team of the week, and of course, future stars cards. When could be times to buy them? Because right now, we are seeing on a little Sunday, Saturday night into Sunday, these future stars have dropped off a little bit again as we do head into the final day of this, what should be the final day of lightning rounds on FIFA. But there's also a lot of investing that took place uh, in the past 24 hours on this current week's Team of the Week, I think people realize that, that Saturday is now the cheaper day for Team of the Week cards, and you saw a lot of those actually fly. So I'm flipping an icon at the moment. I'm trying to sell myself a little prime petite. But we were able to flip a bunch of these future stars in the past 24 hours. I got this Bergwijn at 1.1 today on stream, sold them at almost 1.2. Both of these barns, this one I got at 5.10, I sold it basically for a tax loss. This one I also got at 4.99 on stream, sold it at 5.50. So I did pick up a couple of Lunins because I think um, this guy is actually pretty decent in game. And I think that 50K, 59K for him is pretty cheap. And we're again kind of seeing some lower prices for these cards now as we head into the early day on Sunday. Again, Reese James was 550. Deaths was 370 a little bit ago. Isak is down a bunch. Bergwijn was 1.25. Now he's down to 1.16. Kulusevsky was 600K. He's down 530. Uh, Sabasalai was at 680. He's now back up a little bit, but I think there's kind of like two buy times that we're going to be having to be looking out for for these future stars cards. Now, I'm not sure if today would cause a lot of panic if they released a double 85 SBC um, or another icon SBC since our mid icon uh, SBC has expired now and it's gone. I wonder if they'll either release that today. If they release like player picks, which they could, or upgrade packs, or that double 85, I feel like all of those, in, if you combine a couple of those things on one day's drop, you might see a few of these guys drop down into prices where it could be quote unquote viable. Now, of course, these guys got supplied a lot in the first couple hours. We remember what happened on Friday. Bergwijn was a million coins. He bounced to 1.2, came back down to like 1.05, and then boom, yesterday again, back to 1.23, and now he's down to 1.15. Do I think this Bergwijn card goes back to a million coins? I don't think he does while he's in packs unless EA releases some crazy content in this game that would make people panic sell just about everything. But what you're seeing is there's so many people that want these cards. That's why I'm saying, I think even today on Sunday, right? Sunday is a big buy day for a lot of people on FIFA. A lot of people like to buy Man of the Match cards on Sundays. These guys have actually gone up. Alba was 80K. Quadrado, Quadrado was 330. They've bounced up a decent amount just because people know that they were cheap and they started to buy them. Um, I would, again, just watch for for low. If you see a card on the Future Stars team drop off to a low point that is like, okay, they were this much you know, during the weekend league. Now they've dropped off a really, really considerable amount, and it's a hype item. I would consider getting involved. This Reese James card, if you you much under 500k, I would start to get interested, right? Kulusevsky in the low 500s, I would get interested. If Sabasala goes back to like 680 or 670, I might get interested again because there's just so much hype to try these players since they're brand new. They don't have other special cards in this game for like all of these players. These are like massively upgraded cards. They're just interesting and everybody wants to try them. That's why you keep seeing fluctuations like this on Bergwijn, 1.03 to 1.2, a little 200,000, literal 200,000 coin swing on some of these cards. So honestly, it's either today on Sunday um, or maybe on Thursday with weekend league rewards when you will see these guys at their absolute lowest. That might be an opportunity then, but I would only say they get lower at weekend league rewards if something happened throughout the week this week that would make them drop down. I feel like they're gonna bounce out of weekend league unless we get some sort of crazy content today. Now, again, we might see them drop a little bit lower next week, depending on who's in Future Stars Team 2. And I'm especially curious about Reyna, James, and Dalo, since they're going to have that second item that will be out in packs. I'm very curious to watch those cards and price as well. Um, but if, if you don't want to get involved with any of these cards, uh, the Future Stars that are in packs right now, there's definitely other ways on the market that you can get involved with cards. And with cards that might be low, 
out of the weekend league. Let's talk about some of this week's team of the week. I mentioned that these cards have already been invested in 100%. 100%. This was a lot of investing that happened today because we had guys like Thomas Delaney who were 140,000 coins right around the content drop today at 6 p.m. People were worried about the supply and look at what this guy has done. This guy is up 20,000 coins. Also, uh, Cancelo, the right back in form. We knew this was going to be a favorite to be invested in, but I did not expect it to be this quick of a rise this fast. He he literally went from 175K up to 195 in a span of like 30 minutes earlier today on Saturday. So I think that there's a lot of investing with some of these cars. Milinkovic Savage, Cancelo, Delaney, and Lautaro, I'm kind of scared about, right? But maybe a guy like Salah, who didn't bounce up that much, who I still think is kind of cheap, Callum Wilson or Chiellini could be cards that, you know, might not be really over-invested in per se, that could be decent buys uh, if you see lower prices today. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to get involved with Team League 19 after I saw a lot of that investing today. But through the rest of the market, look at these Team of the Years, man. Lewandowski's 2.4. Davies is under 1.9. Neuer is 470. De Bruyne is 2.1. A lot of these team of your cards have dropped off considerably as well. I think stuff people have coins in this game right now, right? They're gonna see these cards getting a little bit lower. I do think there's a potential for a lot of the market to bounce back into the week if there's not a ton of content or if that content is not like insane. So um, headliner cards as well. You know, some of these guys are down. Goretzka is 596. You know, watch the drop on some of these really meta players holland of course they lost today so you know this car still has a value to me because it links to the new reina and a lot of people were trying him out of course if we were get to uh if we were to get a bellingham player in the second set of future stars that would be even more borussia dortmund links out there so keep an eye on a guy like holland you know one thing i will note is like this kimmage card right this guy was like four hundred and eighty thousand coins last week at his very peak uh, when the Boateng SBC hype was really there and like really massive. I feel like a lot of the hype now is just turning towards future stars and it's really hard to pick out like what nationalities are going to do really well. Uh, like what the hype thing is this week in FIFA because you have a lot of the English links with Wayne, Wayne Rooney, uh, but people are still using Serie A, right? I think that's why you see uh, a lot of the Serie A special cards still doing very well. On this market, right? The the value for Quadrado is still there, even though he just got a brand new card. Teo Hernandez, right? I know he's French. He's easy to link regardless. He's very expensive still. Um, you even see some of the road to the final cards. Rebic, 178. He's pretty high still, right? Varane is down. That's a whole nother situation to talk about, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but road to the final cards would be a perfect place today. Uh, and into the week, if any of these guys do get sold off out of the weekend league, 100% watch these cars because, again, we're one week closer. We're literally like a week away for some of these games happening for Champions League and Europa League again, or, or just uh, just over a week away. If you see panic selling or a little bit of weekend league sell-off around some of these cards, 100%, it's a great place to look to pick uh, some cards up because... A lot of people are going to be buying these and looking to invest in these as we do get closer to some of those games. So 100% look at Road to the Finals. And uh, of course, today on Sunday, we talk about squad battle rewards, right? We talk about SB rewards and what that could bring to the game. This Quadrado is 364. This Jordi Alba is 100K. Both of these cards are inflated from where they were earlier today. I think there's going to be a great opportunity to buy cards today in the weekly sell-off for a bounce. But you saw Quadrado go to 330, 340, and now back up to 360. I need to see this guy back in like the 330, 340 range. And I think what you're going to see is at tonight at Squad Battles on, on Sunday, you're going to see so many people who are used to buying then, you're going to see stuff go up, right? I even think you're going to see future stars tonight on Sunday. Possibly, whatever happens earlier today, I'm not sure. But Sunday night around SB Rewards, you're going to see some people starting to buy. You might see these guys kind of boom up for a quick second, just because that's when people are told to buy a lot of their cards and to invest. So um, I think you want to be before that, right? If there's any selling heading into squad battle rewards, that's 100% a thing that I would look into and I would pick up on. So, you know, when you're looking for some cards today to buy, I don't think you have to be scared about buying future stars because so many people want to buy them. If you want to buy them because a card, because you think it's going to be a, a one that could rise potentially, into the next week, one that a lot of people want to try out in their teams, 
go for it, right? You have the green light for me. The only thing that's stopping you would be insane content from EA. And so far, we really haven't had too much. Tonali was a good objective. The Brewster SBC at 230K, three-star skills, just didn't cut it too much, right? Just didn't cut it. Um, so the content has just been kind of okay so far, which makes for even more market movements, in my opinion, because when people can't do SBCs, they go and they buy cards off the market and try to make coins and stuff like that. So one other area of the market that is really crazy right now is the Real Madrid links and Rafael Varane because Varane had two goals and a comeback win today for Real Madrid. He's probably getting an inform this week. This card was 120K this morning. He went to 150. He went back down to kind of 130 and now he's back up towards 140. This guy's invested in because he's going out of packs. I'd be very careful if you're messing around with this card. Um, yes, it is the most OP center back in the game and a lot of people have him in their teams anyway, but a lot of people are just waiting uh, to see if this guy gets an inform, which they think he is going to. I think he's going to, and that's gonna be a game changer for this next week because I think that, that Varane inform is a card a lot of people are gonna wanna get in their teams. They're gonna be able to afford him. He's gonna be expensive, but people are already starting to buy link investments to this Varane card. So you're telling me that you're gonna go buy this Ferland Mendy was 15,000 coins today, 15K, and he's already up to 17K for people that were investing in an 83 rated left back gold card to link to uh, a, a, a Rafael Varane in form. Now he's back down a tiny bit, but I thought this was kind of crazy today that people were buying an 83 left back. Rafael Varane's in form is gonna be like, his, his uh, road to the final card is 1.6 million coins. I see no reason why Varane's inform will be anywhere under 500K, especially with how overpowered he is in this game. He's gonna be a very expensive inform. I don't understand why people are buying that Furlan Mendy to link to him because uh, I feel like you would use a lot of other players or a higher rated left back if you're gonna be on that budget to use an inform uh, Varane. I know some people would use Mendy, but I just don't like investing in 83 rated goalkeepers at this stage of the game whatsoever. So just be careful with Real Madrid links, right? Because one, one card that I looked at today on stream when we saw that um, Courtois, or sorry, Varane scored those goals was Courtois. This guy's inform was 173,000 coins. And since then, he has gone up in price, uh, not quite 20K, but almost 20K. There's a lot of eyes on these cards now. The Real Madrid links, right? Some of your outside backs, some of your other center backs, like a Freeze Casemiro. Keep an eye on that. Your center midfielders like Valverde. Keep an eye on those Real Madrid links because a lot of people are going to be looking to invest in those today on Sunday. And they're probably going to start tracking up in price as people expect that Varane inform. Seriously. It's kind of game changing uh, with Varane getting that inform because a lot of people will buy into that hype because it is Rafael Varane and he's basically the most overpowered, um, um, you know, center back in this game. So also watch the icons, right? I love icon trading on Sundays because there's a lot of open bids. There's still a lot of fluctuations. People like to buy cards still, and um, these guys are still great to trade with with a weekly like sell off in the current market that we are in, which is a very a very healthy market. I'll say it again, a very, very healthy market right now in FIFA, just with a lot of people having coins, wanting to try out cards. Of course, that usually translate in, translates into people wanting to try out the new future stars, which is why I'm, I'm so high on them. Like this Isak guy uh, was 155,000 coins today, right? And right now he's down to 130, I think, or 140 ish. So, you know, I, I might check the supply on Isak right now. If I think he can go back to 150 into the morning today on Sunday, then I might take a stab. It's, it's how many pages of supply do we have here? One, two, three, four, and he has some overnights in the 140s. All right, that's, that's if I could find a 130 on Isak, I would get interested because that might be a potential flip where I could sell that in the 140 mids or higher, and that'd be worth it for me to try to flip that card overnight. But just watch for more fluctuations on a lot of these cards because just so many people want to use them, so many people want to try them out, and uh, especially some of the higher tier rare ones like this Bergwine, this dude fluctuates a ton. He fluctuates a lot because he's rare. He has that skill move in the weak foot upgrade, 1.15 right now. He was 1.25 earlier. If you go on Flippin and you look at the uh, list of sales for these cards, it's actually pretty nuts uh, for a lot of them. So again, 
There's a lot to talk about with this market, a lot going on right now with Future Stars. I think it depends on what EA does for content today too, if we do see any sell-off or anything like that. But expect these guys to keep moving around and expect a lot of people to maybe make some investments tonight, maybe some road to the final cards rising. A lot of cards got really high last week on Monday to Tuesday because people invested Sunday night and Monday morning. So I'm honestly expecting that again if the content is not that good. But we'll see what EA does today on Sunday. I'm kind of hoping for that double 85. That would juice up the market a little bit, you know, makes for some interesting movements, see if there'd be any panic selling because of that. But it's still a great time to trade as well with these fluctuations. If you time them right, it's a, a fantastic time to trade as you've seen. If you just go look at the Future Stars graphs or, you know, some of these cards here that I've, I've told you about flipping, it's been fantastic. So that's the, the video for today, boys. Just talking through buy times on some of these cards. Depends on the EA content, it really does, but either maybe a today or a Thursday with weekend league rewards or even possibly when the second team comes out, if it is a bit more hype, some of these cards could continue to drop off a little bit more. Those are my thoughts, boys. If you have any questions, drop them down below, of course. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. It's been Native Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.